Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today's video we're going to be talking about uh, Trubabrook. I'm probably not pronouncing that right and I'm not going to attempt to try and pronounce it in the accent, but today we're talking about Trubabrook. So the game is a classic point and click with a bit of a modern twist to it. It's set in rural Germany in 1967 during the Cold War. Now the game is absolutely beautiful to play and all of the scenery was handmade and then digitalized. The game first came out uh, last year in March 2019 and I thought with Halloween coming up, a lot of people looking for kind of a spooky game to play, something to play for Halloween. And I thought this is kind of the perfect game to play. It's a lot of fun, even though it's single player, it's quite fun to solve the game and the puzzles with friends and family. So if you're stuck at home, obviously on Halloween, it's quite a fun game to play with friends and family because it's quite slow paced. Um, it's a fun game to play and the game itself is a sci-fi mystery problem solver with quite a lot of humour thrown in, some more for adults, some for children uh, and some that you have to really watch out for that might go over your head the first time you play it and then you obviously see and hear some of the humour the second and third time round that you play it. The playtime takes about six to eight hours, and as I said, it's quite slow paced, but I enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun to you play. Won? How can you win a stay in Trüberbrook? Well, actually, I don't really remember taking part in any lottery myself. Yet I received this winning notification. What was the name again? Hans Tannhauser. Dr. Hans Tannhauser. Don't worry, where are all the other games? If you've watched any of my reviews before, you'll know that I'm a massive fan of any kind of cartoon style artwork. And that's what initially brought me to this game was the cartoon style artwork. When I watched reviews, everyone was talking about how good the game actually looked. And it is incredibly impressive. It takes hours and hours to actually design the game the way they did it. They create dioramas and then digitalize these um, dioramas and they use different lighting to make it day, night, and they also use different techniques to change the weather as well. So they put a lot of hard work into making the game look incredibly beautiful. And you've got to give the maker of the game a lot of credit for how well they made this game turn out. Now there are a couple of frustrations when playing this game. Sometimes the loading screens do seem to take a little while to actually load. And often because you're going from one area to another area, you are in loading screens a little bit more often than I'd like to be. So that was one of the frustrations I had with the game. And the reason you go back and forth from certain areas is that when you are completing the puzzles, you have to do things in a certain order in order to be able to actually complete the puzzle to continue the game. So it does get a little bit frustrating in that sense that you are going back and forth from one area to the other and the guy does walk a little bit slow. But it's not that bad once you get used to it the loading screens aren't as long as you actually think it's just when you are going from one area back to the other five or six times and you miss something the first time and then you keep going back again that's where it does get a little bit frustrating so that is one frustration of the game is that having to do things in a very specific order to continue can lead to a bit of frustration Good morning. Excuse me, sir. So to finish off this review, it's very difficult for me to not recommend this game. 
I've had some great time playing this game. It's a classic point and click with a modern twist to it. I've left a little bit of the soundtrack in on a couple of the clips because I th really think that adds to the mood of the game. I think the soundtrack sets the game up very, very well. So I wanted to leave that in to show you how much, how good the soundtrack is to the game. There are a few frustrations, but nothing that really spoils the game too much. The game plays really, really well. I haven't experienced any bugs or anything like that when playing the game. And all of this was done on handheld mode on the Nintendo Switch, although it's a game that's available on all platforms. But this review is done on the Nintendo Switch. So I would really recommend this for the Nintendo Switch. It's a great game to buy. You get a really cool booklet in the physical edition for the Switch as well, which just adds to that kind of collector's value for the game. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to really help the channel to grow. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.